Hey guys, how you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips to Go. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a couple of things. So if you just got a new iPhone or Android phone, I'm going to show you how to import your VeChain wallets. So if you got your wallets on here and then you want to put it onto a new phone, then I'm going to go through that. I'm also going to show you how to observe a wallet. So this is very important because it's kind of tricky and if you don't know what you're doing, you can kind of lose. You want to make sure that you have your mnemonic, your passwords. Your recovery passwords are very key. If you don't have them, then I think you might be out of luck. So let's get into the video. All right, so um, first thing I'm going to do, so what's displaying on my screen right now is my new phone. Okay, so I'm going to go to the VeChain Thor. So I got that first one. Here I just have a small balance here, okay, a V chain. Now, on my old phone, what I want to do is I want to import it, okay. So I'm gonna pretend that the one, the screen here is my, is my old phone, okay. I'm gonna pretend that's my old phone. So you want to go to me, okay. You want to go to manage wallets. Then what you want to do is you want to, sorry, you want to export the wallet. So hold on. So let's go to, so here, um, right here is very important. So you can, you don't, you don't really have to care. You don't care about the, the wallet name. The basic thing is you want to export key store. Okay. So here I'm going to put in my password. So you just click on it. So some very important things that you need to do. Always make sure that you have your original password that was set up here and then also you know those characters where you have parrot shield what else they got there um spoiled you know it's like a row of three another row of three so there's four rows of three you want to make sure that you never lose those very important okay so you, you can either copy these values right here okay or you go to qr code and then you show qr code see that qr code so now you take your new phone you scan that code. Sorry, I'll do this. Let's say now let's say this is the new phone. So you want to import wallet. Okay. And this key store. See, I went to key store. You want to click on this little thing and you want to scan that. You want to scan your old uh, key store file. Okay, and then over here on numer mnemonic phrases, this is where you want to put your phrases in when you import it. So it's got to match your old phone, and then you scan the key store. And then you put in um, your password that you want for your new phone, and then you accept. But on your old phone, okay, so let's rewind. On your old phone, what you're doing, you're just going to basically... Um, click on the wallet that has money. So for example, this is the one that has money because I can see I look at the last characters 7d and then if I go to my If I just go to assets at the bottom here I can see I have $1,600 here Okay, so now you go to me This is on my old phone. So I go to manage wallets now I want to export my wallet out So it's 7d is the last characters go to 7d now you want to export key store. Okay, now you put in your password. Now we're going to show the QR code on the old phone. Okay, so you show it. Now you take your new phone. And what you do, you want to go to me. You go to, but now let's pretend this is my Sorry, my new phone. Okay, I'm not going to show you because I'll just confuse you. So on your new phone, open up VeChain Thor Wallet. Go to go to me. Now select Manage Wallets. Now you want to import a wallet. Okay. So now the first box is mnemonic phrases. Once you get mnemonic phrases, you want to put those phrases in. That's the important part is those phrases that are you know one of four two of four three of four four of four and there's a total of three six nine there's 12 words that you put in in mnemonic phrases now when you put in your mnemonic phrases okay 
don't go three, three, and three. Just type them all out. Just space in between each word. Don't press enter. Just space all the way through. And then on your new phone, after you've done that, you want to accept the terms and you want to go to key store, okay? On your new phone. And then on your new phone, I don't know if you can see this. Hopefully you can. You press that little corner icon. You see that? It's asking me to scan a picture. So I could scan this screen on my old phone and that's going to import the key store. Then all you do is accept and you import and it'll say successful. And that's all you have to do to import a wallet. Now let's say you want to observe a wallet. Okay, so let's say you've got your Nano Ledger S. You've got your Nano Ledger S using VChain Sync and you don't want to import your wallet. I don't like importing, uh, uh, especially like with majority of my funds. I like to keep it on the Nano Ledger S or X, view it with sync, and also the ability to view it on my, my new phone. So I haven't set up my new phone, so I'm gonna walk you through this, guys. So let's get the Nano Ledger S here, Nano Ledger S, right there. Now just connect it. Before you put in your PIN code, let's start up uh, VTrain Sync. So come over here, go to Applications, and look for Sync. Okay, so Sync is over here. Now, if you're not familiar with Sync, go check out my other video where I, I showed you exactly how to set up um, to manage your, your VET, your VChain tokens, on your ledger. So you don't really need to log in, create anything. Just watch that video, but I'm going to kind of go through so you understand it here. So you don't have to create a wallet. I'm managing my VeChain, which is stored on my Nano Ledger S. Okay. All you need to do is just open VeChain Sync, which you get from um, VeChain Insider, and you just click out over here, Manager. All right. And as you can see, there's nothing there because you want to log in. So now you take your Nano Ledger S, put in your PIN code. And then when it says VChain, press the two buttons. So now it's ready to start. Now, once that's ready, you can log in. You accept. Perfect. So now it sees that wallet, my vet, right there, because I can see the amounts. And perfect. So now it gives you a code. Then now you need to sign in and then verify the hash. So perfect. So it verified it. It's good. It says, welcome, thank you for being awesome, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. So now what we want to do is we want to observe the funds from here, from my Nano Ledger S, wherever I am in the world, just observing it on your phone. So we're going to take my phone, okay? So we're going to come over here to um, Manager. We're going to go to Observe Your Wallet, okay? So now we're going to go to on my phone, let's just op show you my phone. All right, so we're going to manage wallets. We're going to we're going to um, so we go to me, manage wallets, import a wallet. Now, you just click on observe. Okay, so now you want to observe. So this is how you open up the little QR scanner. So on VChain Manager, let's go to next. All right, so import wallet. So on my phone, I'm gonna click on this little icon here. So I'm gonna click on it. Now you can see there's my screen. You can see my crazy studio in the background here. I got one, I got a bunch of 4K cameras over there, 4K, 4K, and then my backdrop here. If you guys are interested how that, that is, I got some crazy MacBook that I, some guy ripped me off when I bought it at the Apple store. Sold me the world on it. All right, so enough about me blabbing. Let's go to the VChain import. So we're just going to scan this. Okay, scan. Boom, see it's scanning. Now my phone, I'm going to accept. So I accept it over here. Can I import it? So it's authorizing. So here, let's go to next. Next, 
Okay, so here you're going to need to put a pin to authorize it. So let's just see how I did this before. Observers do not own the assets. We're just observing it. So you give, sorry, here's why I made the mistake. So like over here, new wallet name. I was trying to rush through this. So I'm just going to create it um, main, main Vthor, main vet or something like that. Call it whatever you want. Call it tech tips to go. Call it runs the man. Right, so that's it. So you want to import wallet. Okay, now look. So it's giving me an authorization code to put into here. Okay, so select wallet. Enter your six digit pin. We're going to put this pin on my desktop. Perfect. Now we're going to sign certificate. Sign certif certificate. Perfect shows me my balance. Now we're going to select next. Right now, make sure that it's unlocked on your Nano Ledger S. So this code, you want to confirm it on your Nano Ledger S, your, your little small cold wallet. Sign that certificate. Perfect. Now it's done. Okay. Now the last part, grab your phone. Now we're going to press this little icon again from your phone and you're going to scan my screen. Now you verify the signature at the bottom from your phone. Let me just show you here. It's, it's right here. This little mouse is blocking it, but you verify signature. Verify signature. Uh, you look on your phone, you call it mainnet, you look at the address and you click confirm. Perfect. So look, now you can see my balance. You can see how it broke I am. That's it. So now I've imported my wallet. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Um, like I said, you could have multiple VeChain wallets. So you could see I got a balance, a small balance here of 1680, 1680. Then I got my main vet, but I don't like keeping your main wallet on your phone. Cause let's say you, you've lost your phone, whatever. I like to keep on my Nano Ledger S, keep my Nano Ledger S um, backed up between two and then keep them offsite in like an offsite location. That's it. So uh, pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, let me know. If you need me to um, redo a video, I'll be more than happy to do it. So if you like the video, please subscribe, comment, like, and I'll see you next, next one, guys.